Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to Bloodborne. In the last episode, we defeated the One Reborn. Very underwhelming. And we completed the Yahargul Unseen Village area. We now have a key to the Upper Cathedral Ward. And... I think that's it. Didn't we unlock something else? Oh, Nightmare of Mensis, which uh, I think I'm gonna go the Upper Cathedral Ward first. But uh, yeah, that's about where we are right now. This is a blind playthrough, if you didn't know. I don't know how you wouldn't know that by now, but just in case. Just in case we're getting new viewers on part 13 or whatever this is. I think it's part 13. Um, Once, <clears throat> oh fleeting wheel of the ancients. What? I'm sorry, what? What was that? Was that- was that the doll? Well, she's up here! What were you saying? Welcome home, good hunter. You were saying something about the fleeting wheel of the ancients. Very well, let me- Alright, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're not gonna tell me, then that's fine. Alright, let's go to the Upper Cathedral Ward. You okay? Are you sleeping? Uh... You sound like the people behind the doors. Huh. Hey. It's been a while since I've checked in here. Are you doing okay? Oh, the hunter. Alive and well, are ya? Yeah, this thankfully. This is a safe place. Stay as long as you like. But... Next time, if you fuck us Okay. Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh... What's up with her? Hey, you know anything? <laughs> yes? Oh, there you are. You're home early, dear. Is anything the matter? You can always tell me. Mother will make everything better. Uh, what is up with everyone? What's wrong? I have my share of woes. This will help you forget. Forget your troubles. Forget your cares. <laughs> what is it? What will help? What will help me? Oh, a sedative? Oh, and you're in that bind again. <laughs> I'm starting to regret saving these people. Okay. Uh, I will see you guys later. So, I gotta be perfectly honest with you guys. I did make a second slot. So I do have a second file going. And I tried to make it a point not to do anything on that file that I haven't done this one. So I'm way behind, don't worry. I just beat the Shadow of Yarnum again on that file. Uh, but I did find a secret kind of on accident. Okay, I missed it a couple times. But if you go up the elevator right here, you can hop off. What, right? Weird. And then you can go over here. And there's a bit of a secret area right here. Here it is. So this gives me a new room. It's a formless Earden. So this is the only thing I did on my other file that I hadn't seen before in this one. It's a higher Quicksilver bullet max plus four. So not, not like a great thing, but just a little extra. Messenger Urn Festival. Oh, is that like... I think that's something, that's like a hat that I can give them or something, right? Yeah, the messengers wear the urns filled with incense that wards off beasts on their heads upside down, suggesting a predilection to the dark. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Well, 
So we can give them new urn hats, just in case you were ever curious about that. And if you're wondering where we are right now, we're actually uh, just above the cathedral. Right there, that's where the hunter's lamp is. That's where Ariana is, right right over there, slumped over her, you know, with her, with her tummy ache. Actually, I think this is the only way that we can get down, is right here. Okay, so you see, here we are. Oh! Oh, they've got those uh, flamethrowers. Anyway, this is a door that I last attempted to open in like part six or something. So now we finally get to open it, I think. Yeah. Open the door with the upper cathedral key. Look at that trophy, the choir. What is the slug thing? There's a slug over there. All right, quiet. Look, what the hell is this thing? Do I just... Well, I killed it. Oh, no, I didn't, actually. Now it's dead. Okay, let's go up here. Well, I like the soundtrack. Nice and creepy. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Nice, look at the sky, wow. Got a blue elixir, an item that I'm... Probably never gonna use. Oh, hey! Long time no see, guys! Ooh! Okay, I'm back! And this time, we're gonna take these guys out. No problem. Okay. I said that, but, uh, oh my god. Alright, how long do these things last? Not that long, huh? I forgot. There we go. Stop it! Ow! Oh my god. Yeah, you're lucky that we were in this narrow hallway, Buster. Okay. Now we're finally done with that. Oh my god. I don't like these things. I don't like you. What do you do? They do frenzy. Oh, they do frenzy damage. Okay, that's the way you want to play it, huh? Okay. Don't want to get hit by these guys. Okay, when they bite you, you you're frenzied. Understood. Hello. Oh, from back here, it looks like they're hunched over cloaked figures, but I guess not. Okay, finally lit the lamp. Now what? Go to this building? Oh my god. Ow. That actually didn't even hit me. Oh, holy shit. Okay. What's with all the slugs, man? Uh, creepy little things. Well, they're all dead now. Great Lake. I thought I was done with the lake runes, but what's this one? Great Lake, let's find out. Increases all defense types by plus 4%. So it's slightly worse than the rest of them, but... It was pretty good still. Oh no, it's... 
It's it's quite a bit worse than Arcane Lake. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. Hey, actually, they are hooded figures. They're monsters. I just didn't see them before. Some of them have like wooden staves. Very neat. Closed by a device. Okay, so this gate. I can't go in yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's one right there. Oh my god. I was hoping to get all three of them. That's two. You know, these things are kind of creepy, but they're not really that interesting. They're very slow. Devastating to get frenzied by them, but um, oh. We can't go one area without the crows, huh? Okay. Actually, this is probably easier. I got impatient. Frenzied cold blood, nice. Yeah, I'm just impatient. I just... Like, fighting off the crows? Not really that interesting to me at this point. We fought them so many times. Anything else over here? Okay, well, if... The gate to this thing is closed, then what am I supposed to do? Okay, I'll go up here. I'll go up here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's Reaper Man. Alright. Uh, let's try to... Try to win here. Okay. Come on, do it again. Okay, I'm gonna need you to come down. Thank you. Because I can't do... I can't do a visceral attack on the stairs. And apparently I can't do it here either. Oh, did you step in the fire and die? Oh, that sucks, bro. Bye. Oh, wow. It's the Mind Flayer, or whatever it's called. Brain Sucker? I was hoping to get... Ooh, Choir Garb, Gloves and Trousers. Let's try them on. Let's try them on. I know what... What do we have to lose? Uh, I mean... I'm not really much of a robe guy. I guess. Hmm. I'll, I'll I'll take it for now though. Let's go this way. What do I hear? I hear something. Madman's knowledge. Does not open from this side. Look, it's right there. He's right there. He's on the other side of it. Whoa! Oh my God! Holy shit, why do you have blue eyes? Okay. Blue eyes, not good. I know the red eyes is a certain kind of type of buff, but I don't know what the blue eyed one is. Twin bloodstone shards, that's the best you got. What were you doing out there? Waiting for the perfect moment to strike? Let's see what's on the other side. Huh? Oh, you open. I keep waiting for these statues to come to life, like one of them secretly an enemy. I feel like it's gotta happen at some point. Does not open from this side? Oh, there's something over there. It's weird that this is in the cathedral ward. Like, I guess it's locked off. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cool. Okay, they do a lot of damage, these guys.
Come on in. Am I cheesing you on the doorway? Okay, looks like I am. <laughs> it looks like I am. I mean, you kind of walked into it, bro. I don't want anyone getting angry with me in the comments over this, okay? They're, they brought this on themselves, you understand? Okay. Using another one. Oh. Where is he? Oh, he's like back there. Is he trapped? Are you trapped by the door? Kind of seems like he is. I know the charge attack with a great sword has a follow up attack. Wait, where, where did his werewolf corpse go? Uh, it just kind of disappeared. Okay, well, I'm glad that we got past that. Oh my god, there's more of these guys. Here. I did a transform attack? Without meaning to. How many more of these guys are there? Oh, I thought these were all like those leech things. It's the chandelier shattered upon the floor. Okay. My mistake. My bad. Let's look back here. The lights are all out. They tried to use cover of darkness to defeat us. Little did they know. It wouldn't help them at all. Okay, there's a brain sucker over there. Let's take this guy's stuff. Ritual blood? Locked. Oh. Okay, that door's locked. Is there a side path over on this side? Like there is over there, or no? Doesn't look like it. Oh, 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 right here. There's a nightmare, actually. What you got for me, Chonk? Yeah, two Chonk. Up, 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 up. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Got lucky. What are you doing? No! Get up. Get up. Okay, so these guys... Regular brain suckers, not that big a deal. How many of those do you do? Four? Wait, now you got a massive tentacle on your head for no reason? Is that a fashion statement? So... Y'all prepared me for this in the comments, but he actually, he actually sucked away two insight from me just then. I went from 72 to 70 insight. Not appreciated. Okay, there's a lot of items over there. I'm gonna wait a sec. Oh. Oh my god. Really? Wow. He did all he did a big barrage of attacks there. Excuse you. Where did this nightmare is back? They usually don't come back. Oh, I can't sneak up on this guy anyway. Oh, 
Oh, hoo, hoo. oh. No! He's sucking up all my insight. I thought I had killed him. Shaman Bone Blade. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, the tiny tinnitus. Never looked at this. This is a similar Morningstar mace that utilizes quicksilver bullets. When struck into the ground, it creates the blue sparks that are said to surround, like uh, the dark beasts. Like Archibald's masterpiece, this too is a superb conductor of the powerful blue sparks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But where's the shaman's bone blade? Oh my god. A blade of bone coated with gruesome spinal fluid, used by old Labyrinth Watchers in particular, those presiding over rituals. When a victim is cut by this blade, the green spinal fluid temporarily numbs the senses, disturbing the target's gross motor skills. The blade, never intended for battle, must cut deep to be effective, and breaks. Cool, I've only got one, I'm thinking I'm gonna save it forever. I can't see myself ever using it. To be perfectly honest. Okay. Now, oh, I'm on the wrong side. Can you please? Oh, I'm good at video games, I promise. Maybe not good, but ac acceptable. I'm at an acceptable level. Okay, I'm gonna go this way first. Madman's knowledge. Oh, blue elixir. Blindfold cap. Dude, you're gonna take away my 69 insight! Oh my god. Bro. You can't be serious with this shit. Oh, I hate those guys. Madman's knowledge. Madman's knowledge. I wasn't right the first time, but I was right the other two times. Pearl slug, two pearl slug. I already have a couple of those, don't I? Oh yeah, they're uh, chalice materials. Okay. I just want to open up this door so that I have an easier time getting over here next time, you know? No! My visceral attack! You stole it! You stole my visceral! Oh my god, this is so bullshit. No, what you Man, I'm like jamming the buttons trying to get out of this. Holy orphanage key. The orphanage shadowed by the Grand Cathedral was a place of scholarship and experimentation where young orphans became potent unseen theor uh, thinkers for the healing church. The choir that would later split the healing church was a creator it was a creation of the orphanage. I really butchered that, but you get the general idea. Oh, key to the orphanage, birthplace of the choir. I've heard about the choir a few times, but I don't really I don't really know that much about it. I guess now I do. Oh my god, he's... You've got my blood echoes. Gonna be so satisfying. Give me that shit. 51k. I'm not going in here yet, I just wanna look out there. Uh... I don't know, I don't know. 
I guess it just taught me a little sign. Nice. Okay, well. This was fun. Hmm. I thought this, like, led outside, but I guess not. Quiet. Oh, this is the other side. Okay, so what did I do all this for? Okay, there's still one more. There's still one more brain sucker over here. Oh, no. No, nobody's there. Nobody's there. Turn around. Turn around if you know what's good for you. Okay, now. Bye-bye. <sighs> Cosmic Eye Watcher badge. That's key items. Badge of a member of the choir, elites of the healing church. The eye signifies the very cosmos. The choir stumbled upon an epiphany, very suddenly, and quite by accident. Here we stand, feet planted in the earth, but might the cosmos be very near us, only just above our heads? I see. I wonder if those chime maidens are members of the choir. They seem to summon the one reborn from the cosmos, it would seem. That might not mean anything. Open door with orphanage key, okay. Okay, and then this is right. Frenzy cold blood. This is exactly yeah, yeah. Let's open this up. This is at the very beginning. Okay, and then there's some stairs over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go spend my blood echoes just uh, just cause. Gotta do it before these guys get back. Turn the hunter's dream, please. Bye-bye, not for now. I might actually take this time to use some chonks and upgrade my Ludwig's Holy Blade. Okay, I've got 25 skill, so now it's time to upgrade vitality. Let's get one in vitality. And if I can get 15K more, I can get another point in vitality, actually. 15K. Welcome. That should be enough. Very well. Will it be, actually? Oh, uh, I'm like a hundred short. Okay, first of all, let's see what I got with the new badge. Probably sedative, I think, came with the new badge that I just got. But what else have I not seen here before? Um, Ritual blood? I'm not sure if I could buy ritual blood before. I think everything else in here I've had before. Oh, this is a 60k Blood Echoes weapon. Rosemarinus, a special weapon used by the choir, high ranking members of the healing church. Sprays a cloud of sacred mist created by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Arias are heard wherever sacred mist is seen. Proving that the mist is a heavenly blessing. Oh, fair maiden, why is it that you weep? Sudden poetry. Always uncomfortable. I'm gonna sell some of the stuff that I don't use. Like throwing knives. Don't need those. Also, I just... Why would I need these? I'll just sell like three of them. Just so I can get... You know... Enough. Alright, 30 vitality. Feel good about that. Now, let's see how many I need to use my chunks. And I know some people are going to be like, Oh, you should upgrade something besides Ludwig's Holy Blade. And the Hunter Axe. And the Saw Cleaver. And the Kirk Hammer. But... Sorry. I want to do well. Let's take this to plus nine. And now, to take it to plus ten, we need a Blood Rock. Yeah, yeah where? I've never even seen a Blood Rock. Well, let's see. Repair. Oh, we don't need to repair the Kirk hammer. Uh, and real quick, let me just take a look at this 
Um, stamina, Quicksilver Bullets, Restore HP. I think I'm okay to just keep that for now. Sorry. Oh my god, I can buy Bloodstone Chunk for 20 insight. 20! Oh my god, 20? Are you crazy? I'm gonna spend 20. I do want to get some bolt paper though, because I have a feeling that we're gonna need that. So I'll get like seven bolt paper. I know, I know, some people might think that's a waste. But check it out, check it out, watch. I can still hear the baby crying. If I just use some of my 28 madman's knowledge, okay? Hey look, I'm back to 60. We can still hear it in the background incessantly if that's what you want. All right, uh, Upper Cathedral Ward, let's go back and let's see what else we got going on in this place. Okay, we're back. And do I really only have two blood vials? Oh my god. Well, whatever. <laughs> if I die, we'll we'll get a refresh. Are we floating? No, we're not. This is just who built all this, man? This is a lot of stone and a lot of stonework. Oh, dude. Hi. I'm sorry. What? You want to go? Okay, I didn't know you guys were here. Hi. I'm still not sure what you are. Are they like literally aliens? Uh oh. Okay, yeah. This looks like. I don't see a boss though. This definitely looks like a place where you fight a boss. But I don't see one yet. Maybe it's not. Oh. What? Celestial Emissary. Uh... Okay. Alright, well, you wanna do this, huh? Oh, for crying out loud. Why are they just... Oh my god, they just keep rising out of the ground. Okay, hi. Oh, is this like the Witch of Hemwick? Wait, wait, that one. That one back there, he's not attacking. He's just summoning. So, you. Yeah. So he's the real one. And not in a good way, either. Oh my god. You real one! I'm sorry. Oh, you're- oh, you're- you're big one now! Big- big doo-doo head! <laughs> okay, I wasted a lot of time. Because I didn't realize what was happening. But now, it makes more sense. Honestly, I really want to spin to win on this boss. I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. I want to, though. I'm sorry, where are all my blood vials? Am I just out? How am I out? How is that possible? Ah, uh, whatever. All right, hang on a second. I'll get some more.
What? I'll sit up straight now. <laughs> so I, I was in the Forbidden Woods. This is my favorite place to just, like, go and get some blood echoes. Uh, and I found a cannon. Large prototype firearms fashioned by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. Oh, really? Then how come I can't buy it with the powder keg badge? Answer me that one. Use of this weapon is equivalent to toting a mounted cannon, complete with its ridiculous weight, staggering kick, and lavish use of quicksilver bullets into battle. Such a monstrosity was doomed from the start, and indeed, its development was cut short. Yet, against impossibly gigantic foes, it might just be the thing! That's kind of neat. Oh, it does 200 damage compared to, say, 70. For the pistol. Well, actually, yeah. Wow. So that's cool. That's a that's a thingy that I didn't know that was in here. Um nice. Okay, like weirdly, there's actually nothing else in here. So cool. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> you see how lucky I got just now. <laughs> anyway. Uh yeah, this should be good enough. Alright, here we go. Celestial Emissary, round two. And we know which one he is this time. He's the one that's not attacking us. Actually, you know what? Nope. Hmm. Okay, no, he's one of these guys. Come here. Hello. Too many of these guys. Bolt paper again? No! I dodged into the hit! This guy seems really easy. I'm just playing badly. Attempt number three. Although, really, it's attempt number two, let's be real. First time I was caught off guard, and I only had two blood vials, so. Okay. I want to try something. Okay. I want to see if I could one-shot them with the transformed uh, greatsword. And bolt paper. That's what I was hoping. Nope. He's doing a big stomp attack. Okay. Just had to lock on. Okay, got a new rune. And we beat another boss. <laughs> Apparently. I was not expecting that. Is that a real boss? I thought that maybe it's gonna have like a second form or something. Okay, so that was a uh, plus four blood vial maximum. Very cool. Thank you, Celestial Emissary. Oh, hey. Oh, it was only like 800. Oh, thank you. I will take it. Now what? 
I guess we'll just keep going then. I didn't seem to gain anything else from that. Oh! My mistake. Oh, you! What are these things? Don't tell me these are the orphans. Little slug guys? Are those the orphans? Alright, well, we broke in. Or maybe... Maybe these guys are the orphans, these alien dudes? I mean, that thing was called Celestial Emissary. So that really strongly implies that they're aliens, doesn't it? Hmm. Here we go. A call beyond. All right. What, what is this? Okay. One of the secret rites of the choir. Long ago, the healing church used phantasms to reach a lofty plane of darkness, but failed to make contact with the outer reaches of the cosmos. The rite failed to achieve its intended purpose, but instead created a small exploding star. Now a powerful part of the choir's arsenal. At times, failure is the mother of invention. Yeah, you know, it's just a- it's just a tiny little exploding star. No big deal. <laughs> What's this I hear about an exploding star? Wait. No way. This is where I fought Vicar Amelia. This is the Grand Cathedral. Yeah. There, uh, there's the skull that I touched. Right there, and I saw that vision of Lawrence and... Willem. Master Willem. Which, is that Lawrence's skull? Because it looked like the... It looked like the skull of like a cleric beast type of entity. I don't know. Yo, what's up? What is... Oh, are we having another boss battle already? Wait. I think we are. Summon Damien of Mensis. All right, sure. I'm not gonna beat the boss this time. Might as well see what you can do, what you look like. Do you have the cage thing on your head? The Mensis cage? Let's see. He does, dude. Oh wait, this isn't the same guy that fought Rom with me, is he? That guy was like a support character, like cleric or something. He was sitting back healing and casting spells. This guy's got a sword. Yeah, so what's with the Mensis cage? I wonder. All right, well, yeah, you wanna go headlong into this? With your weird ass shield, by the way? That's a nice shield. I wish I had a shield sometimes. Altar of Despair, my god. They really know how to Set the tone, huh? This is a big old battlefield. This thing's sleeping. Oh, what are you scared? I didn't summon you to be scared. Let's see how close we can get. The hell is this thing? It looks like a dragon. Oh wait, this is the back of it, I think. Well. Let's go. Yeah, you woken up now? Ebritus, daughter of the cosmos. Okay. Yeah, are you with me now? Okay, oh, he's all in now, okay. Okay, she did like a sweeping attack like that. Not cool.
What are you doing? Okay. Nope, don't do that. Please don't. Damon, you're doing a great job tanking hits for me, bud. You all right? We're doing a great job so far. What is, what is this? That was some nice damage. Well, I was... I was gonna try to get out. Okay, what is all this? Okay, we're going in, we're going out. Ooh, that did a lot. Oh, he's dead. I don't really care that he's died. Ow. Hang on. Hang on a sec. That fight was like, going so well, and then all of a sudden... What was all that shit? <laughs> What's all that shit all of a sudden? <laughs> I was about to say, like, the best thing about, um, summoning a companion is not that they'll do additional damage to the boss, it's that the boss will, for some reason, focus on them, and you can just get behind them and start whacking them over and over again. Uh, seemed like I couldn't visceral attack Abritus, though. Alright, well... Hmm... I want more bolt papers. Bolt papers... So, I figured out bolt papers do, any, I, do really well against anything that's, like, alien or otherworldly. So fire paper does really well against beasts. Bolt paper does really well against like things like that. Okay, round two, Abritus. Hello. Can I get my blood echoes? Is that okay? All right. She one-shot me, didn't she? Or did, did I take damage before that? I mean, I wasn't at full, full health, but still. Wow, okay. Shh. Can I get away with this? I mean, I guess I did. Anyway. Okay, maybe I don't want I don't want to keep distance from her. Well. Alright. 
Damn. Okay. I need her to not be in this corner, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on out of the corner. Okay. Nice. supposed to avoid that I thought I was doing pretty well how are you supposed to avoid the lightning fuck shit I should have healed damn Get out from the corner. Not like that, though. Not like that. No, 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 no! Okay. I've never seen her affect Frenzy on me before. Otherwise, I would have had Sedative out. <laughs> okay. No, that's good to know. You know, we could... Like, I'm pretty confident if we used, um, Damien we could beat this boss, no problem. I mean, we almost beat her the first try. But now that I know more, I feel like we could do it. I mean, you do get, it's nice, you do get a free shot here at the beginning. Let's see if I can get my blood echoes first though. If I just don't run. Or are they too far to the side? Oh, nice. I can't tell if that's worth it or not. I think it's worth it. Oh, you hit me. I can't even tell where I am. Fuck. Oh no, I used the sedative on accident. Whoa, 
Oops, that's the that's the big attack right there. Yeah, I need to watch out for that one. That one's also, that's the frenzy attack that she does. I wanna know what she was doing with the lightning bolt. Because... I don't see how I could have avoided that one. Lightning. I had her so close. Okay, as much as I'd love to fight you again with six blood vials, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go buy some more. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch out some of my runes. I should have done this before, but uh, I'm gonna switch out my 10% stamina rune for my 15% stamina rune. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm gonna switch out my Logarius counter build because we're not using visceral attacks at all on Ebritus. We're not using Quicksilver bullets at all, so these aren't doing anything for me. I think it's worth it to get bolt damage reduction plus 5%, because that lightning attack has ended the fight twice now, just on its own. I don't know if it'll do anything. I'd like to think that it'll do something, but, I mean, I could do Great Lake as well for all damage reduction. And I could try switching to um, maybe an outfit that has more bolt defense. Because that's really the only issue at the moment. Yeah, I'll do Great Lake. Okay, so, um, in addition, let's take a look at the attire. So, Bolt defense, 110. What is the highest bolt defense? Actually, 110, my current, <laughs> my current garb has the highest bolt defense. Great. Well, then I don't know uh, what else I can even do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to get up behind her, use the bolt paper, get in a couple of slashes, and try to keep her, as much as I can at least, in the middle of the pool. We have more bolt defense now. I don't know if it'll make a difference. Maybe she can still just one-shot me with it. Or maybe I can figure out how to dodge it. That'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be easier to just dodge it than have to just tank it. Not a good situation. I think it's really important with this boss to lock onto them. Or else you run into a situation like that. Get up.
No. Okay. Great is Chalice. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Okay, let's take a look at that real quick. What Chalice did I just get? Or is it's this thing, right? Or is it a key item? Oh my god, where is it? Oh, it's in this one over here. Okay, let's take a look. Um, I'll move my camera down. Great chalices unlock deeper reaches of the labyrinth. The great Is chalice became the cornerstone of the choir, the elite delegation of the healing church. It was also the first great chalice brought back to the surface since the time of Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have audience with Abritus. Ooh. Very cool. So what are you doing over here? Do nothing. Is this ROM? The vacuous spider? It is! Oh. Were they related somehow? Was she like... Mourning him? I mean, we killed this guy. Interesting. How did he get over here? By the way, we're behind, like right now, we're behind the Grand Cathedral where uh, Vicar Amelia was. Very odd. I'm. What does this inspect? Do nothing. What do you want me to do? What could I do? Could I do something there? All right. I guess I'll go back. No. Uh, upgrades are so expensive. No. I can't even get one after killing a boss. <sighs> All right, well, it's been a pleasure. We beat two bosses in this video. Hello. We beat uh, the Celestial Emissary, which was a Witch of Hemwick level boss. I know I died to it, but <laughs> I was underprepared. Um, then we beat Abritus, which was a fun boss fight. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the Eldritch Abomination from the Cosmos. Uh, I have to say, though, I didn't think it would be so easy to kill a great one. Now, this isn't the only great one that we've killed. I think the amygdala was also a great one. And, and Rom, the vacuous spider, was a great one, too. We're just slaying great ones everywhere. We're so powerful. So I'm not sure where to go next. I think... Nightmare of Mensis is where we're supposed to go next. Uh, I am not sure if that is where I will actually go next. I might go back and pay Martyr Logarius a visit because, uh, I've just been afraid to go back, but I think, I think I can handle him a bit better now. I've leveled up a bit and I do more damage and I'm just a little bit better at the game than when I played him last. So, might pay Logarius a visit before it's too late, because from what I understand, Nightmare of Mensis is uh, one of the last levels, or maybe the last level in the main game. So a lot of people are probably wondering when I'm going to do the DLC. I think what I might do is I might do Nightmare of Mensis and then do the DLC. And then there's the questions of the Chalice Dungeons, which I barely touched. I might do the Chalice Dungeons in the next video, too. I'm not sure. Or at least, at least finish off the Petumarian Chalice, or what? whatever. I don't know. You guys told me how to pronounce it, and I forget already. It's not Petumarian. Petumarian. It's, it's Tumarian? You don't say the P? The Tumarian Labyrinth? Anyway, um, 
I'm way ahead of when I'm publishing videos right now. I know I said I was gonna be patient and wait, but it just didn't work out that way. So, I might take a break after this one. Probably not though, I'll probably be back at it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, uh, hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series. Uh, as of right now, part nine is the most recent video I've published, so I assume you're still liking it. <laughs> by the time this one goes up. Let me know in the comments what you think about Bloodborne and the videos and everything else. I'll see you in the next one. Think critically.